Verizon is going to start locking their smartphones again. Damn. Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about Verizon. There's news that Verizon will start locking their smartphones again. Head over to Google and do a search for this. You'll find an article about it on your favorite tech news site. Let's take a look at the one on ours here. So Verizon will start locking phones to its network to prevent armed robberies. Let me see if I can explain this to you. All right, first, if you were to buy a smartphone from Verizon, an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy phone, those phones are automatically unlocked. As soon as you take them out of the box, you could put a SIM card from another wireless carrier in it and it's gonna work. Now, there is a reason why these phones are unlocked. And that's because Verizon is required to meet these open access requirements that they agreed to when they license the wireless spectrum for LTE from the government. So that's the uh, C block, the 700 megahertz wireless spectrum. Part of the agreement of licensing that wireless spectrum was that you had to sell unlocked devices. Now, the change, which is supposed to be coming in spring of 2018, is Verizon says they're going to lock the devices. They're going to temporarily lock the devices so that they can prevent theft. Their claim is that the theft of stealing these phones from wireless stores has gone up. People are stealing these unlocked phones because they're worth a lot of money and they can sell them quickly. So Verizon wants to lock the phones and then offer the uh, Verizon customer or consumer the chance to unlock them after they've been activated on the network. So the idea is that if somebody was to steal the phones, they would be locked to Verizon. They'd have to be activated and used with Verizon for some period of time. Time. Now, those details are all sketchy, and Verizon isn't saying exactly how they're going to handle this. They're just saying that they're going to lock the phones. Now, what does this mean for you and me? Well, for Verizon customers, it means if you ever want to put a SIM card from another wireless carrier in your phone, and there are a number of reasons why you might want to do that, you're going to need to make sure that your phone is unlocked before you do that. So, for example, if you were traveling outside the United States and you wanted to save some money and buy a local SIM card so you could use local service while you were traveling abroad, you're going to need to make sure that your phone is unlocked before you leave the country because if you get there and put the local SIM in and find out it's locked, then you may not have phone service or worse, you'd have to rely on using your Verizon SIM card and paying for international roaming service if your plan even supported that. Now, even if you're not leaving the United States, you may from time to time want to try a different SIM card in your phone. Maybe you just want to see how the coverage is on a different network. Maybe you have two numbers and you're switching your SIM, uh, switching SIMs back and forth in the same phone. But now you're going to need to make sure that that phone is unlocked. The other way it affects customers or consumers is that you'll no longer be able to buy the full price Verizon phone if you're trying to get an unlocked phone. So that's a trick that many people do. You want to get the latest hot new phone. You go and you buy the Verizon version for full price and then you could use it on any other network. Certainly many people did that with the iPhone 10. I did that with the iPhone 10 myself. I bought the Verizon version because the SIM free unlocked version wasn't available. A lot of people would do this with Best Buy. You go to Best Buy to buy the latest Samsung Galaxy S phone or the latest Note phone, and you buy the Verizon version, and then you could use it with any network you want because it was unlocked. Now, this is going to be an ongoing story because Verizon hasn't told people exactly what this unlocking policy is going to be. They're still figuring this out, I guess. There's some question as to whether or not this new unlocking policy is going to violate those open access rules that they agreed to. We'll see if the FCC has a comment or ruling on that. I'll do an update then. But in the meantime, head over to Google and you can see all the different articles on this and just pick your favorite site. Everybody's talking about this now. A lot of people are questioning. Verizon's motive saying that locking these phones just to prevent theft is just an excuse to lock customers in. So we'll see how the story unfolds moving forward. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, and I will talk to you next time.